There used to be a time when the goal was get a TV show, get on a TV show, and then get into movies. Like everyone was yeah. just trying to do this. There was this trajectory. And I'm thinking, especially when you were on Seinfeld, yeah. it's probably like, okay, I was on SNL. Now I'm on Seinfeld. Yeah. Then I got to get into movies. And then I become a movie star because that has to be the trajectory. And what we see now is- yeah no one cares, they just care about good work. You can make a podcast and, you know what I mean? And you, yeah. can, and you can reach, it's a completely different, it's like taking off one uh, high powered lens and putting on a different lens that takes a completely different kind of picture. It's still you, but it's you in all these different ways, which I think is kind of a yeah, very nice, we're very lucky to be alive at this time. We're very lucky, because you can sort of ping around and do different, uh, tackle different, creative projects in a way that perhaps wouldn't have been uh, accessible, I don't know, 20 years ago or well, something I, I like that. I think it used to be that in your position, they would have said like, okay, you were on Seinfeld, so now you have to go do that again. Exactly. And you got to wait around till we find the right part where you're someone's friend who comes in and, and chats in the apartment. But this way, you can completely flip the narrative. Yeah. I don't know. That's just the thing that endlessly fascinates me is I think about uh, it's just these technological changes, but careers used to be, I think, much more uh, restrained. Like people, people yes. were confined to one kind of box. Right. Exactly. And now I think there's all the fences are down. Everyone's wandering into everything else. And yeah. I was talking to some actor recently, and he's done so much great TV work, and he's also done some movie work. But he was sort of saying, "Yeah, but I, I need to get back to movies." And I said, "Why?" No one knows the difference anymore. Great work on television or great work in the movies, it's just great work. Yeah, and what was his answer? <laughs> He's, he agreed with me. Oh, you yeah. convinced him. Yeah, yeah, I convinced him. We're Who, talking about Brad Pitt. I was gonna say, I yeah. thought it was Brad Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt was really down on, you know, not having really a movie career. And um, we hang out a lot. You know, and he's done some TV stuff. Mm -hmm. He was on Friends. Yeah, of and, course. And uh, that one appearance. And I, so I talked him out of it. He was really high and he had forgotten that he had had a movie career. So I know what you mean about the television to, to movie thing. Mm -hmm. And back when I was doing Seinfeld, that's when I had both of my kids, you know? Mm -hmm. So the idea, and we were making 22 episodes. Remember those days when it yep. was 22 episodes a season or 24 or whatever? So the idea of going off during the hiatus and, and making movies was just no bueno for me. I couldn't bear the idea of it. And the irony of all of this is that like in the last year and a half, I've made a, a ton of movies. Yeah. It's so weird. And you're in the Marvel universe now. I know, I am. <laughs> That's nuts. Tell me about that because Let once, me tell you're you in, once you're in that club, forget about it. I don't know if that's the case, but I'm I'm really doing this to impress my kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not shitting you. I really am. I mean, they wanted, you know, they they both would say, Mom, come on, why why can't you be in whatever the hell it is? And I and I said, Yeah. And so 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 I met with these guys and I said, you know, I could be, I mean, I could do something, you know, I could punch somebody and, you know, fly around or whatever. Anyway. Cut to. <laughs> that was two. all it took? That's all it took. And Wait that a minute. Was, why don't, so, by why the don't way, I that take... was my pitch. That was the actual pitch I made. I, okay. Well, guess what? Uh, I think I could punch somebody and fly around uh, a little bit. Maybe take a punch. Yeah. I could be punched. Yes. And people could fly over me. But but I don't see why I can't be part it's of It's DC, the... but Plastic Man feels like you. <laughs> get your reps to get a, a, a meeting for you with Kevin Feige and all those people. And, yes. and pitch yourself. Yes, I'm going to. Well, this is my pitch right now. It's, it's... I don't get out a lot, so I'm just going to send them this segment of the podcast. <laughs> but Kevin Feige and the Marvel gang, uh, <laughs> I come on. I, you know, I've got a fan base. Oh. Uh what, why are you making noises? I don't know. I think maybe you'd be like an extra. Is that okay. mean to well, say? Yeah. Come on, but I think, it's not nice to say. I'm sorry, but I think that 
a distracting extra. Yeah, but hey, like, who's that handsome? He could, he could tall be a, drink of water in the background. What? He could be like a snarky. Uh, what? Yeah. What? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you that's could, my po- my superpower is snark. No, first of all, you're not going to have a superpower. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say. You're okay. not going to be so, one of the heroes. No. Okay. So I'll be the I'll be a guy who is uh, I'm working I'm cooking the books in the background. Uh, yeah. You uh, might be like a corporate snarky guy. That yeah, I could see. That's yeah. true. This is fantastic. Yeah. Maybe I'm not saying this to Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, you're cast. <laughs> uh, but, oh, I mean, uh, but, but I mean, so your kids now. My kids, my grown men children. Right. <laughs> your 45 year old children. Yeah, um, seriously. No, they, uh, but now they must want to come to the set because they want to see, like, oh, well, you know. You're shooting yeah. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I want to be there. I want to. I want to meet Falcon. I want to see all this cool stuff. They're actually. They they haven't asked me to come to the set. Maybe they'll come. I'm going down. I'm go. I'm going to be shooting starting in June for many months. So I suspect that they may want to come then. And there's going to be lots of fancy people in it. And so they'll get to meet. If they come, they they would get to meet cool folks. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they'll come. I have to say, my kids never ask to meet people. How old are your kids now? Uh, my daughter is 19 and my son's 17. Wow. Okay. But they're very, and, and they're, they're very polite. They're really, uh, but they've never bothered me. They've never bothered to meet anyone. And then every now and then they, when they do really want to meet someone, I don't have the clout <laughs> to make it happen. <laughs> right. So like, you know, yeah, my daughter would flip if I could say, Hey, you know, uh, Taylor Swift, do you want to meet her? And that's not happening. Taylor Swift's team has told me. No, I haven't they, even approached, but right. she's just- But she's you're Taylor. pretty sure you're going to get a pass? I'm pretty sure <laughs> that uh, that I'm not even going to try. Yeah. And so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to try. Okay. Well, fine. I can't help you. <laughs> if that's I think right, you could. No, I can't. Yes, you could. You have more clout than I have. You could call uh, Taylor Swift's people and say, uh, look- Conan's kids want to meet her? <laughs> well, Conan wants to meet her with one of his oh, kids. Oh, that's what this is. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I want to go in first. Yeah, uh, your have daughter. Like a, and have uh-huh. like a lunch. Uh-huh. And then my daughter can come in at the okay. end. Yeah. Why don't you fabricate a pitch? Why, I mean, you've got this company now. Mm-hmm. So why don't you come up with a story idea or something? You were pitching her. A, that's it. A, that's how you're going to do it. That's how I do it. Yeah. And you say you need to pitch it to her just like over lunch, and then you have your kids come by. Right. Okay. We figured it out. Yeah. This is perfect. Mm-hmm. Now we got to figure out the pitch. <laughs> you play Flailer Snitch. <laughs> That's your Marvel name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a good pitch for her. 